Um, I'm going to uh, challenge you tonight to uh, revise your thinking and to reconsider some fundamental assumptions. I would argue that in a, in, a, in a phrase, we must embrace complexity theory. We must understand complex systems. We live in a world of complex systems. The environment is a complex system. The government is a complex system. Financial markets are complex systems. The human mind is a complex system. Most minds, anyway. <laughs> By a complex system, I mean one in which the elements of the system interact among themselves such that any modification we make to the system will produce results that we can't predict in advance. In addition, a complex system is sensitive to initial conditions. You can get one result from it on one day, but the identical interaction the next day will yield a different result. We cannot know with certainty how the system will respond. Why? Our human predisposition is to treat all systems as linear when they're not. A linear system is a rocket flying to Mars or a cannonball fired from a cannon. Its behavior is quite easily described mathematically. A complex system is water flowing over rocks or air flowing over a bird's wing. The mathematics are complicated and in fact no understanding of these systems was possible until the widespread availability of computers. An important feature of complex systems is that we don't know how they work. We don't, un we don't understand them, we just interact with them. Whenever we think we understand them, we learn we don't. This is a storm hundreds of miles across. And we have, on the nightly news, people who will tell us what causes them, how they operate, and it's really simple answers. It's an extraordinary thing that this amazing thing, which actually we haven't really been able to see in this way until we had satellites, is translated into such simple forms of thought. It's nonsense to think that you can know its behavior and its causes. <laughs> Fortunately, we can learn to manage complex systems. There are people who have studied how to, how to do it and know how to do it. But it does take humility. And with that, something very important, the ability to admit that we're wrong and to change course. If you manage a complex system, you will frequently, if not always, be wrong. You have to backtrack. You have to acknowledge error. You've probably learned that with your children, or if you don't have children, with your bosses. And one other thing, we have to not be afraid. Fear may produce a television audience, it may generate cash for an advocacy group, but fear paralyzes us, it freezes us. And we really need to put that behind us as we move into a new era of managing complexity. Because we live on an active planet. Earthquakes are continuous, a million and a half a year, or three every minute. A Richter five every six hours. A major quake every three weeks. This is, this is all the earthquakes in California in the last week. There's a quake the size of Pakistan every eight months. There are 1,500 electrical storms on the planet at any moment. A tornado touches down every six hours. A, a tidal wave crosses the Pacific every three months. There are 90 hurricanes a year, one every four days. It's constant. Is this the end of the world? No, this is the world. And I think it's time we knew it. Thank you very much.